Hello, everyone. Goodness, just when you think you have your phone all set up. Hello, hey, everybody. How is the lighting here? I am live. My name is Dion Woods, and I am with the Turquoise Iris, or I should say I am the Turquoise Iris. Um, we are on part three of this buffet makeover, and I'm popping on here to say, look how far we've come. Check it out. I want you to see right here, um, if you caught part one and part two, uh, you watched me do this section and then this section and something you have yet to see. These birds right here, these stamps are now on my buffet. Welcome everybody. Thank you. Already with the thumbs up. You guys are fantastic. So listen, the top two drawers. Hi, Miss Sally. Hi, Monica. Yay. All right, so look here. Part one here, and then we did part two. I went ahead and finished part three yesterday, so I'm gonna scoot out of the way and let you take a sneak peek. Um, this is rubber stamps I've applied with DIY paint. This is the uh, birds, branches, and blossoms, okay? Um, you can, these are the patterns that you can apply together to get this kind of look. And so these came in the mail while I was working on this and just had to go with um, these little birds. And then I did some gray branches and leaves. So that's where we are, you guys. Just a little recap if this was your first time popping on here and you did not catch part one and part two. I am using DIY paint from Debbie's Design Diary. It's a clay-based, uh, mineral-type chalk paint. Um, it's five times the amount of pigment in most um, in most of your... I'm sorry that my dog's barking, but she thinks everyone that walks by is about to kill me. So, um, five times the pigment goes into DIY paint, which is why I love it, because... Looks like I'm frozen. You guys are, am I frozen? Several of you are saying it, but then several of you are not. So I can go back out. Looks great. Okay, I'm gonna keep talking. All right, so that's what I love about it. And because I use water to blend my colors, I go ahead and um, I don't lose the pigmentation, which is what's really important to me. I don't you lose the intensity of the colors. So just as a recap, I started with Queen Bee, which is this really bright, sunny yellow. All right, thank you guys. And thank you for all of the thumbs up. Um, I started around the edges and all the little trim details, okay? And then I came in with Hey Sailor, which is a navy. And I blended the two together with a little bit of water from a handy dandy spritzer bottle. Then I came in with a faded burlap in the center, which is just a sunny tan color that is not sitting here at this moment. You got it ran away. Um, I have applied clear wax, dark wax, white wax. I also used several like you can see a little bit of pink here that i have watered down in a bottle like this and these little bottles watered down paint and just spritz here and there it drips it runs it gets in all of those fantastic little crevices that we try to keep all of our makeup out of but we want them in here we want to highlight all these details and crevices so um, i did that in various colors here, I grabbed where the hardware, I went ahead and painted the hardware. Here's why. This is cheap, it's thin, and I didn't like it. So I painted over the hardware, but I wanted to give it this copper look. So I took a separate little jar, and I took a product from DIY called Golden Ticket. Um, it's a liquid patina, and then I added a little bit of Marquee, which is a red of ours. And in there, look at that, sparkly copper goodness. So I used my little brush and I've applied to the hardware 
here, sanded it back a little bit. Um, so those are just to get you up to date on what all I've done. You will see in a few areas, and you may not see here on this video, but in person when I take the photographs, you will see a few little lines. It's actually a lotus pattern here, and you can see it up here that I made with this handy dandy roller that rolls the pattern on, and these are from Artistic Painting Studios. I have a link for that as well. Um, guys, I have a link for the paint brushes, the paint, and for these rollers if you're interested in trying any of these products. They'll be posted here in the description. So the plan now, after you've seen this whole piece for the bottom, I've got this all exactly the way that I want it, so I thought we would work on this drawer together. Thank you for the thumbs ups. I appreciate you. So again, I got this in the mail and I've been going to town with these rubber stamps. So the colors I've chosen for my birds and my branches are, we're sitting right here next to me. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Old school, which is our charcoal gray from DIY. So the branches are going to be that color. And then the birds are gonna be crinoline, okay? But before we get to that, we need to apply our wax and do some sanding and get this drawer to look similar to this. I work in sections, so um, it's not gonna match perfectly. That's not important to me, okay? Hi, Miss Q. Thanks for hanging out with me. This is all new to me, going live on YouTube. I'm usually over on Facebook. Um, so the very first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and just grab my sanding block and I'm just gonna sand the edges just a little bit around. I'm gonna let some of this color that's underneath because the first thing I did was apply yellow, that bright yellow, and I didn't wanna cover all of it up so you can still see it peeking through in different areas. I'm gonna sand it back just a little bit. You can also do wet sanding, which means you would get a rag like this, you would dampen it, and rub it back and rub some of the top coats off. But I'm gonna do this because y'all are right here and I'm gonna go faster for you so I don't bore you out of your mind. And if you're already bored out of your mind, I apologize for that and you should probably go watch somebody else because it's not gonna get any faster here. So I'm just gonna hit the edges with this very lightly. I've already got all of this the way that I really want it so I'm kind of being careful not to scratch any more of the edges here. But what's happening here is I'm pulling some of the yellow and the green underneath this. I posted a photo yesterday on my Instagram of, and Facebook of this right here close up so you can see it a lot better. And what you can't see is that a lot of this yellow is coming through the navy blue, which I love so much. We don't have to get it perfect because we're adding so many layers. And you can see right here, there's a pattern where I rolled this lotus roller sideways here. And what I'm doing is I'm just adding so many layers and textures. There's a lot going on here that you'll be able to see when I post the photos on Facebook and Instagram. And maybe in here, I don't think I can post photos, but I'm certainly gonna try. Hi from Sweden. Hi from Oklahoma City. That's where I am. So there's a lot going on here. I'm gonna have to really focus so I don't miss a step. Just wanted some of this yellow to come through here really well. Okay, and then I'm gonna grab this and just wipe it down and get all of the paint off of there that I've sanded, clean it up. Guys, if you are interested in using this stamp, the birds, branches, and blossoms, I will also post a link for you too to find a retailer near you, okay? Okay, so the first thing we need to do is just clear coat it 
with some clear wax. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my clear. This is my Paint Pixie, which are the brushes that I use. They're made in Italy and they're fabulous. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a little bit of clear. Again, I appreciate everybody's support and kindness on here. I feel very vulnerable coming on here. So I am very appreciative for those of you with the thumbs up and the, the kind words. Hello, Hal Family Humor. I love you, brother. Just got off the phone with that man. My brother has a YouTube channel too. He posts funny, silly videos of he and his kids and his wife. It's about how family. Okay, so this is a clear, guys. It's a little bit darker than it's going to stay. It's wet, basically, because it's covered in wax. So, um, yeah, Abby, she's Casey, girl. Um, it's a little bit dark, because when it dries, it will lighten up just a little bit. But what the wax does is it pulls those layers of color. And then if I take this, I'm going to go inside out with it because it has some powder on it. I'm going to turn this little old shirt inside out. I'm gonna rub that back just a little bit because I can rub some of the color off when it has the wax on it and let even more of the yellow shine through here. And I can see more of this pattern right here that I rolled on with this Lotus Roller. Guys, if you're saying, I can't see um, all of your comments and so I apologize. Um, hi, Annette. Thank you, honey. Okay, so we're going to do that now. I wish I could let you see this closer, but don't worry. We will have photos. So that was the clear. Now I'm going to grab the dark. This is also, all these products are DIY. I'm just getting a little bit, okay? We're not gonna douse our whole brush in there. I mean, we're just lightly tapping the very tip, maybe just a little bit more than that. And I'm gonna lightly go over the, the whole thing, uh, the whole drawer with the dark wax, okay? We're adding multiple layers and shading get just a little more so guys this is my third time in two weeks to be on here live and I really want to appreciate all of your comments and your kindness that you have given me um, I'm used to being on YouTube or Facebook, but not YouTube. And so I've just really been thankful for your kind comments and I appreciate you being patient with me as I learn the ropes of YouTube. Okay, so we have the dark on there now. You see how I'm doing this? I'm just kind of adding a little shading around the edges. I'm not gonna work on this section just yet. I wanna focus on this. I'm gonna go back with my sanding block right here. And I'm going to apply over the brown. I'm just going to lightly sand over it, and that's going to even rub off a little of the wax and allow for more texture and color underneath to come through. It's hard to see over there, but really good to see right here. But trust me. Oh, 
yeah, that's good stuff. Yeah, that's the good stuff. Oh, we say that. Oh, we've hit gold. We've hit gold. I also always tell people, if you're going to watch a video of mine, just know it's going to get worse before it gets better. I mean, we go through the ugly phases where the, this teenager is, um, you know, she's not really going through an ugly stage, but that almost a bit of awkwardness. I don't know about you, but I sure did. 10, 11, 12, a little bit awkward. Boy, 14, it's all over. Praise, praise the Lord, it's all over at 15. 14. Okay. So, as you can see, it's starting to look more like this. So if you want to rub through like a little bit more, I'm just gonna take the side of this. I think I want this to come through even more. That's what I want, okay? All right, now I'm gonna grab my white, also from DIY, which is Debbie's Design Diary. Yeah, she's working on being 17. Thanks, Sally. Thank you, dearie. So I put the white wax over the whole piece and it just softens all of the edges. It's awesome, I love it. Again, not very much. See, not much. Gotta get it in all the grooves. You guys, I'm having a class August 25th at Reclaimed Warehouse. It's in person here in Oklahoma. And I have spots available on my website at theturquoisiris.com. Anybody would like to come, ask details, you can find out all the information on my website. So feel free to pop over there after this. Seating is limited. We can sit up to about 35 if we need to. See how it just softens it by putting the white wax over it? This one is not Paint Pixie, guys, because guess what? I did not have another one, and I've been using this one now for like a year. Mm, almost a year in September. And I'm still using it, so that's why it's not a Paint Pixie. Because I, I use it for my white, and I don't use white very often. So I'm not going to go ahead. I'm not going to use another, a new one, while this one still is fabulous. Okay. You see? We look more like this now, right? Thumbs up? Yes. Okay. Okay. We are about ready, I think, for our birds and our branches and our blossoms. So I'm going to grab my old school and my crinoline, which are going to be my birds and blossoms color. Um, you know what? Instead of doing that, I think I want to do this part first. Um, the hardware where I told you I was gonna add copper. I wanna do that right here first. I'm gonna lightly just tap over the hardware with this copper metallic that I made. It's a copper wax that I made with a clear wax. Golden ticket from DIY and a little bit of marquee paint. Okay, so I'm just gonna do this a little bit around it. doesn't have to be perfect because we're just going to take our finger and smudge it like this so it has a real organic look to it not placed perfect Ain't nobody have time for perfection nobody okay then I'm going to grab my sanding block I'm going to try to get in there real good kind of sand that off a little bit soften it Okay, yeah, I like it. 
I love using the white wax too, Sally. It just softens everything. So let me get this section and then we'll grab our rubber stamps from Iron Orchid Designs. I've got lots of new products from them in and so I will be using a lot of their, their new products in the next few weeks. I'm just using my finger basically to rub it in. Perfect. All right, easy enough. Again, that was a copper metallic that I made by using clear wax, DIY uh, golden ticket, and a little marquee. Just a couple of drops, not much. All right. I'm going to do this rubber stamp. I know that I can peel these off if I chose to peel them off, but I don't. I'm afraid I'm going to lose them, and I like having them all here together. So I'm just going to strategically now. I have the birds and the branches down here. There's a large bird that's kind of swooping down here, and then there's another side angle of a bird that's on the branches. Um, I want to show you this over here. And so I think I'm just going to have one bird coming down and a couple of branches over here. So I can't do too heavy, but I'm just gonna show you the difference that it makes, okay? So all you have to do is just grab a simple little brush, a little art brush. This is what I'm using. And as you can see on here, there are branches and birds. I'm just going to lightly go over the branch that I want to use with the paint. And yes, this is messy. Yes, I don't clean up that well. It's rubber though and it can clean up if I need it to. I'm just lightly going over it. I'm going to put a branch on here and then I'm going to put a bird on here. Okay. Fill it off. Branch. Now what I ended up doing over here, I didn't just do a solid color. I ended up going back and adding layers, little dots. I even grabbed my little dot with a, like a yellow in the middle of the blossom flowers. Um, I grabbed some of that, the metallic wax, and I put a little bit over the bird's head just to add a little bit of color, which I know you'll be able to see this um, in the photos, but you can't tell that right now. So I apologize, but um, Follow, make sure you're following me on Facebook or Instagram as well, and they will be there. Um, okay, so there's the branch, and we're going to get us a bird. Okay. Let me think about how I want to set her on there. I'm kind of placing it out a little bit before I go in with it. I'm going to put it there, and then we'll put some flowers and, and leaves up in here. Okay. All right. Actually, before I do the bird, let's go ahead and do the branches since it's the same color. So these are the leaves right here on the edge that I'm going to lightly coat. With some paint. game. So we have leaves there. I put some blossom flowers there, but first I'm going to do my bird next. I'm 
Like I said, these little stamps come off of this sheet, but I don't want to pull them off. I'm afraid I'll lose them, separate them, and I want the whole family to stay right here together. So you can buy them and have them separated, which would be much easier for application. But I'm a little stubborn like that. Just FYI. Thanks, you guys. I appreciate your encouragement and your thumbs up. Hopefully, hopefully everybody's here that wants to be here and being kind. Okay, we're gonna stamp our bird on the branch. Ready? Boom. It's very subtle. I didn't want like a strong contrasting color, but what I'm gonna do is when it's dry, I'm gonna come back in with that metallic and I'm gonna kinda dry brush over the bird and pick up some of that texture um, so the bird almost has a little bit of shimmer to her. I don't know why I'm calling her a girl, but I don't know, kinda like it. Um, and then I'm gonna put a couple little flowers right here on this bottom branch. And there's a bunch of different flowers that you can use. But since it's a drawer and it's real small, I'm gonna find the smallest cluster. You guys, if you're just popping on here, these rubber stamps are by Iron Orchid Designs, and I'm gonna post a link for the retailers. Um, the ret I don't even know how many retailers are, but there's hundreds, and you can pick one that's closest to you. You can also follow um, Iron Orchid Designs here on YouTube. They have tons of videos, especially with all of their new products. Okay, this is perfect. It's not too much. I have this little texture coming through here from the roller that I used from Artistic Painting Studio, which is a, um, sorry, window neighbors, um, which is a lotus, but you can just barely see it. So there's a lot going on here, and that's what I love. Um, so again, this was old school, and um, actually this is Sandy Blonde that I'm using for the bird. But I've gotta let it kind of set a little bit because I want to add a little bit of depth. So I'm just gonna kind of lightly tap the bird in different areas and a little bit on the branches and add a little bit of variance with the colors now that they're on here and it really really adds a lot and that's what i did on all of these others here so fun you guys so fun so once this dries i'm going to keep messing with it just a little bit i'll add a little bit more color i'll add a couple of yellow dots inside my flowers um and then i'm going to go back with the whole thing and just put clear wax over it again just to seal the birds and the branches and the blossoms and then i'll be done so this is part three if you guys have any questions please um feel free to leave your comment if it's kind if it's not just scroll on by thanks you guys um for all of you who have given me the thumbs up right back at you you're awesome you guys take care so much appreciate it